Hello everyone, this is Nikita. Thank you for joining me in this video. In this video, we would do a direct implementation of decision table through different rules. So decision table can be called from flow, activity, data transform and lot of other places. So in this video, we would do one by one implementation of decision table. So let's start with the first one where we would call a decision table from a flow. So here we have one approval flow. So in this flow, we will call a decision table. So here you will see that there are many options, but we will use decision table for this. And the name of the decision table is find the approver. Okay. Let me submit. Put some name on the decision shape. Okay, let's save it. Uh, so what is the next uh, previous step before this approval flow is fill details flow. In this flow, we are basically adding all the properties. Okay, in this section, we have few details like the room number, the number of guests, time of event and duration of the event. Okay, and uh, coming to our decision table, in our decision table, we have uh, this property duration of the event on the basis of which we are uh, going and returning the values. So in for this example, we will use, uh, you know, we will remove all these columns. We don't need it. Select on this column. Okay. And I don't want this row as well. I want to delete this column. Okay, let me save. Let me check in this one first. Okay. So here we have returned the values here, right? So uh, this return value should be saved somewhere. In this flow, approval flow, you will find there is an option of setting the result in. So here we will set it to the uh, property in which we want that value to be set. Now submit. Okay. So let's create the case. So in the first uh, step, we will add the different property values. Okay. Okay. Now we need to add the room number and details, number of guest, time of the event, okay and the duration of the event okay so i will give it as eight submit as and when i submit uh, that decision table would be triggered okay so let me trace this so that i can know if decision table is getting triggered or not submit then i will open the trace okay So now I'll check whether my decision table was triggered or not. Let me pause this. Okay. Okay. So here you will see that decision table was triggered and flow decision end here. Okay. And the result here. So it's saying that vice president uh, is the result. Why vice president is the result? Because we have set it as uh, when it is greater than equal to 6, we have set it as vice president. That's why we are getting as vice president. Okay. We can also go here. So there was a problem flow work basket because uh, somewhere we have not set uh, the connectors correctly. But that is okay. For now, let me open the clipboard and see if the approver ID is there or not. So as you can see, the approver ID is present as vice president. Okay. So the decision table was successfully called from a flow. Okay. Now uh, we will call a decision table from activity. For that, let me remove this step here. 
okay instead i will call the decision table from the activity okay this is the fill details flow in this flow action uh, i will set the run activity as post fill details okay and in this activity i will call the decision table how do we call a decision table from an activity for that we have a step uh, for, for that we have a method called uh, property map decision table okay so so here i will uh, give the property name as approver id because in this property i want the value to be set and the decision table name find the approver okay so this is the same decision table we have just used i will use the same thing it's just i will uh, comment the next step i just need the first step here okay now i will create the case again create booking let me give the value duration of the event as maybe 4 and i'll submit before i submit i'll trace this okay submit now i should see the activity getting triggered okay so here you can see the activity which i created got triggered and the property map decision table method uh, this is the step begin and this is the step end and decision table was started and make sure that in your tracer you have selected um, the decision table to be traced so make sure uh, this particular thing is checked okay now it you can see the value which returned is senior manager why did it re return senior manager is because uh, i gave the value as 4 let me open the uh, decision table the value which i gave was 4 so since it was 4 the senior manager got returned okay so this was uh, the decision table calling from an activity now we will call the decision table from a data transform for that i will use the same flow action let me go to this flow action fill detail i'll remove this activity instead i will uh, call a data transform okay so post fill details dt let me open this in this particular data transform what i will do is i will set the approver id uh, from a, a decision table let me enable this okay i'll disable the next one so uh, how do we call a decision table is you need to click on this gear icon and browse for the uh, function so for decision table you need to search for decision table and you will find this method here so this method takes two parameter one is a primary page name and then the rule name okay so we did the same we called this with the page as the primary and the, the decision table rule name which is find the approver okay what, what does it return is it returns the value uh, which the decision table uh, will give so in this particular scenario we had the uh, approver id which was getting returned so we set it in approver id okay so for that i will uh, again run this uh, scenario let me first save this here and i will create a booking case again i'll add the room number time of the event duration of the event let me give it as 8 again uh, before this submit i will trace this okay and i will do a submit okay what do you see here do you see that uh, data transform getting called for that i will pause it here and i will search for my dt post fill details
okay so as you can see the post fill details dt this is the data transform and the approver id is set in the first step that is the function is getting called and the approver id value is set here so let me check what is the approver id so it is the vice president you can also see it here okay additionally you can see something here as py note is approver is vice president also if i check here i will see that py note uh, so you might be thinking from where this is coming for that let me go here and show you my decision table okay let's go here in the second tab which is the result tab i have set something here see so when the result is vice president i am setting the py node with this value and when the uh, when the result is this i am setting it with this value so this is additional thing which i had done so that's why the py node was setting up with this value okay so as you can see uh, it is saying as approval is vice president this is the note which i have put in, in the next assignment after the uh, decision table gets called okay so this was a short video on how to call decision table from different uh, places also you can call a decision table from a decision table or you can call a decision table from decision tree as well so this is a question that comes in interview also so is it a possible to call a decision table from a decision table or decision table from a decision tree or not okay so make sure that you know about all of these do some practice on this so how do you call a decision table from a decision table uh, just use a call keyword and after that give a space and when you give a down arrow you will find all the decision table name that you can call okay so you can uh, use any one of them so after this particular uh, decision table gets executed after the return condition it will call the next decision table from here okay so this is something that you can additionally do uh, let me also tell you how do we run the decision table basically it's a very important that whenever you create a decision table you also do a unit testing for the decision table how do we do that is it's very simple go to actions go to run okay when you do a run you will see that uh, you can provide some value to the duration of the event and when you click on run again you will see the return value that is it is a senior manager okay so this is looking simple but when you have uh, more number of columns in here in the condition uh, sometimes uh, doing a unit test solves lo lot of problem so it's always advisable to do a unit testing like this uh, i hope this particular video was useful to you to understand decision table and its capabilities decision table can also be called from other places as i mentioned like uh, declare expression and some other rules so make sure you also try to practice those on your own thank you for watching this video meet you again in my next video till then bye bye take care